Um, tell us about your experience at camp. Um, my uh, camp experience has been amazing. I've had lots of fun. I've met a lot of amazing people from all around the world and I've had fun learning like a new skill and part of it. And what is it like being immersed into a new culture? Um, it's been different, but it's been amazing. It's it's nice to see that like how like the different like different parts of the world and see how things are done here and but it's been it's been nice. It's been nice to learn about the different Sure. And what did your, did it dash your expectations? Like, what were your expectations of America before you got here? I don't know. I thought it was going to be a bit more, I don't know. I don't know what my expectations, I don't really have a lot of expectations. I just thought it was going to be a bit more glamorous than it wasn't glamorous. I don't know. Like, I just thought it was a little bit, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but everything here I feel like is bigger. Just bigger than like South Africa. I don't know how to explain it. Um, and what do um, what do you think you taught kids about South Africa? You're right. About your culture. Um, don't you ever get tired that we of don't right? ride on elephants, <laughs> <laughs> and we don't live in huts. We don't all live in huts. <laughs> and yeah. Cool. Um, what's a typical day for you? How does it start? How does it finish? So basically, we wake up. We have to get uh, eight-year-olds out of bed. It's not easy. And then um, basically just get ready. Um, and then we go to breakfast, and then after breakfast we have cleanup, and then we um, then I come to the ceramics studio. I set up, and then we have like um, we have electives, so we have a session, and then we have 15 minutes off, and then a uh, session again, yeah. and 15 minutes off, and another one, and then we have lunch, and then we have rest hour, and then I come back for another cycle, so an elective. 15 minutes off and then again and then it's dinner and then nighttime activity and then shower hour and then bedtime and then if you're on OD you stay in the bunk if you're not you can like you can like go use wi-fi talk to your family and then you have to be back by for the past one. and what would you say to any other South Africans who wanted to apply for camp just do it, just do it, like go for it, like I had a lot of like hesitation, should I do it, should I, because it's two months, it's a long time, but it's been the most amazing experience, I think I've just grown so much as a person, and I've just learned so many things, and I've met the most amazing people, like the most amazing. Um, are you straight out of school, university, and what's your decision to come to camp? A good one, like would you, you know, where are you in your life back home? So, um, I finished school last year, and then I had a little bit of a break where I did a lot of charity stuff. And then after that, I decided I had like a lot of time because I'm going to study overseas, and they only start in September. So I decided I had this like gap to do it so I so I only start so I only start university in September so I had a lot of time so I just decided why not amazing thank you thank you cool.